Strange Proposal is a movie recently released by Ruth Kadiri on her YouTube channel. I think it's a lovely movie and today I'm going to review the movie and then share with you the twist and turn of everything and my thoughts on the movie as well. If you are new to the channel, please do well to subscribe for more videos and more updates. So it starts with a normal Nigerian woman who is Ruth Kadiri, who is like a normal hustler who works in a restaurant to feed herself and take care of herself. And you know the economy, I think, is everywhere. Your one job will not cater for you and everything, including your rent, your bills, and your upkeep. So then you need to do something extra, and that is what Ruth Kadiri's friend was advising she does. Initially, she was denying all those stuff that she wasn't interested. She's not the type of person who would go this extra mile to make money like i know you i think you understand what i mean by this extra mile so but sometimes the pressure hits you so much that you can't really have an escape you wake up your landlord is taking money your boss you've borrowed money from him your father is calling you family is calling you, you have your own personal upkeep like the pressure keeps getting worse and your waitress job is not able to sustain you but then Ruth Kadiri still kept on with her work, being lovely, being the good person she was, being nice to people and all that. And then I think sometimes the world just turns up to surprise you when like when things are in its highest mess. Like when you are really, really messed up, the world just surprises you that you know what? I know you can't do this by yourself. Let me just chip in this. To the extent that she was even almost going to assess proposal from old men she was even receiving more quick from friends she has helped like it really affects everyone sometimes you can really be of help to someone who was in dire need of something as little as anything and then you offer them help and then they become better and then they make it look like you never did anything for them and sometimes it's really really painful you are not doing it for them for them to pay you back but sometimes the way they reciprocate it the actions and the attitude is very painful but then what can you do it's your job your job is to serve them because you're a waitress but ruth kadiri really kept on with what she was doing and all of that lo and behold one day one day a gentleman who was going through a lot of suffering who was really broken-hearted who had like his life was almost ending like his life was at its end you know it gets to a stage in your life that you feel like you know what well, let me just end it here because you really can't look left and right and see any hope and that was when Ruth Kadiri met her future, you know, husband. That is Ghanier's one of our favorites that met him. And then he was really confused. As to Ruth Kadiri, she thought that she he had gone through maybe some typical hardship that couldn't make him afford food and all of that. So that day she decided to help him with something, some cash and some food and water. And this is what got interesting. You never know who is pretending to be who they are, who they are not. Like, whether good or bad, someone may have it and pretend they don't have, or someone may not have and pretend they have. If you are not lucky to be in the trap of someone who doesn't have and pretend he has, then you are doomed. But if you are lucky to get in the hands of someone who has and pretends they don't have, just to see your reaction and all that, at least you know that there's light at the end of the tunnel. So Ruth was willingly being very, very nice. And then I was like, okay, okay, I really like this. I really like this Ruth and Annan vibe. Like the Ghanaian act, I really, really like their vibe. Only for, for me to see that there is a condition attached to it. So this is where the twist comes in. So Ruth was just being a random friend until it was further noted that, okay, he just went through a serious typical heartbreak. And he just needs someone to fill that vacant space. Like, you can be so down, you may be tempted to do anything very stupid. So, he just needs someone to fill that space, like, to fill that vacancy. And Ruth, too, after all, she wasn't earning that much at the office. So, if a man, a gentleman, a rich man has showed up and told me to stop my work and he's going to pay me a million, like, a lot of money, at millionaire what will i do i'll stop like i mean i'll go for that break that he was asking for after it was just a week or a week and more so then she agreed to the proposal to the strange proposal because it's 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 like a condition it's like you're being paying you are you are she he, you'll be paid for being yourself you'll be paid for enjoying luxury 
so that was what ruth was able to do and because she's um internally genuine and she's pure in heart she was able to resonate with with let me say the strange proposal and they were really bonding so well like they were able to build that friendship so well and that was what really caught my eye sometimes we rush into relationships without building friendship friendship is one of the most important even when the relationship doesn't work the friendship brings it together because you've been friends you've really what the friend like friends should be even more important than than the relationship itself i mean though friendship is also in a relationship i think you get what i mean so they really built that friendship of understanding mutual respect and all that before advancing further and even before they advanced further they had to split ways Ruth Kadiri received her, her money as per agreement she went to show appreciation to her, the people who have supported her her friend her father her boss before she started her own restaurant so they separated ways before coming back together you know so it means that the deal ended before they advance to you know you know go further in their relationship so this is basically what strange proposal is about a strange man meets a strange woman they draw a deal that okay you don't have money i have money i want you to show me affection for a period of time and then i'm going to pay a lot of money and this is a, this is a, a deal that i think any other person will accept because there's no nothing immoral in it you just have to play your part and make him happy and in the end even though the girlfriend came back and all that she still came back he still came back to choose ruth kadiri so i think this movie is telling us that we shouldn't give up on our dreams sometimes we we really may get distractions like what her friend was telling her you want to use a shortcut to get it even though this was a shortcut it's just life paying you for being patient it's just life paying you for waiting till it's your turn even though this was a luck lucky one i think this is life showing ruth that there was really light at the end of the tunnel or there was really some results for the wait so i also learned that sometimes when you get into a better place you should show appreciation to the people who helped you to get there it's very very important else you'll get there and nothing will really work for you it's funny but it works or it's funny but it's true that's why they always say don't burn your bridges so i'll be ending here for today my name is lydia this is strange proposal i think the movie was good and i also like the acting i like the makeup i like the setting and all that and i like the main characters you know they played it so well they really acted a good romantic couple so tune into this channel i'll be adding more nigerian reviews here once again please let me know what you think about this movie have you seen it yet what are your general thoughts on it is it something you learn is there something you learn from it or you just enjoy the drama in it till next time bye